Welcome back to the adventures of the very dirty boy, Prince, uh, Prin, Prin, Prin Keps, look, whatever his name is, Sir Hittel, Sir Hittel, Diet of Bellinzona, the, the dirty priest who has managed to stack himself up seven going on eight lovers already to try and obviously corrupt our dynasty into power a little bit here. We've got ourselves our glorious son, what was his name again? Cardinalis Valde Frigius. Uh, was that like very cold uh, cardinal of House Deer? This, this kid we're going to have to try and groom for power here. Not saying that because we're a priest. Let's set our council up because apparently it's not. Oh, it's a bloody cartographer. Don't worry about that one too much. And then we'll get to business. So the first thing I've done for today is left the Imperial Court, the Holy Roman Empire. It's really not going to be hyper useful for us. Bear in mind that the, the, the real strength of the Imperial Court comes from being able to bribe electors. And I mean, A, we're not an elector and B, it wouldn't do anything for us because we can't put ourselves into a position of power using the electors to our advantage. And getting up to the higher levels is, is going to be also kind of pointless anyway. We get bonus to our levy size. We're in a church. That's like two dudes and a very angry nun. A tax modifier as well. We're barely in making any tax where we are, so that's not super relevant either. And then obviously the highest one is Kaiser, so we're never going to get to that level. I'm thinking a more traditional society just to kick things off certainly wouldn't hurt. We could join the assassins. That'd be kind of cool. We could join the assassins and try and kill the anti -po. Wouldn't another antipope just spawn in? I actually don't know the mechanics around antipope because so I've never done it before. Um, the suicidal, the suicidal antipope. We're doing him a favor, basically. So if this guy, oh, we just have to wait for him to be dismantled, don't we? That sucks because I really want to join the. Uh, maybe we could like swear fealty to the pope instead. That would be interesting. Try and grab independence, draw like a big round. Could we even become his vassal? I guess so. That would be kind of cool. I mean, we'll try and maneuver some way to do that so that we're not restricted. Because, of course, we can't see all of those cool new systems added by the Divine Intervention mod. Hey, it doesn't matter too much. Today, we're going to try and get ourselves some other spare suns so that we can start corrupting our dynasty into hopefully seats of power. Maybe trying to get some land across uh, various points of the HRE. Maybe even seducing noble women to try and get some claims on some stuff. That certainly wouldn't hurt. Dislanded noble women especially so that their claims will be inherited down. Pushing their tiles, maybe that will be their only child. And then, although it wouldn't be... I don't know how we're going to do it. There's a lot of ways we could play this. And, and I think just having a few more sons on the back burner. Hey, there we go. Problem solved. Having a few more sons on the back burner would definitely help out quite a lot. I will admit, though, today I'm not going to spend all the time in the episode just seducing random women that just happen to turn up to our court. I'm going to be a bit more uh, I'm gonna be a bit more time cautious because we are 26. We do need to start making some plays here to get our... How are we going to get our people elected? I guess it's just a case of making sure they're well-educated, giving them some decent... Uh, giving them some decent learning traits and then just electing them ourselves. Who gets the... Our liege gets the vote. So we've got to make our liege like us. And then also ask to nominate Bishop Co. Oh, right, of course. A juicer. Ad, ad, co. Ad, Agita? Is that how you say that? Agita? I think so. Uh, Ajuta from uh, Kotor, am I right? How do we do that? Uh, nominate this character as a Bishop Co. Agita, making someone Bishop Co. Agita increase his chance of being elected as your successor, as he is seen as your co ruler. Oh. So we could, uh, this random boy that we found at our court, definitely unrelated, when he turns 16, we name him our coadjutor and then make him, uh, uh, hopefully, our successor at this stage. Obviously, we could vote for him as well. And then hope that somehow we can have our... How would we make the Duke like him? What events are there to make two characters... I'm uh, short of befriending them both, which actually could be a legit strategy. Becoming friends with our liege, which we should start working on right now. Becoming friends with our son, which we can, of course, do the, through the family folks or even through education. Then there's a chance, obviously, us introducing them and then them becoming friends. It's a weird strategy, but it actually would work. My God, we got her. So you might remember yesterday, we invited this woman to our court, Melisenda, and it turned out she left our court immediately because she was so dedicated to the child that she was educating. Uh, specifically, this child here is apparently a suspected demon spawn, and she just happens to be a suspected witch. She is the witch from the demon spawn event, and we have just fall in love with her. My god, I hope she gives us a kid. Because how awesome would it be to get our 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 bishopric passed into the hands of a of a witch's child? That would be just an incredible start, especially seeing as our guy was supposed to be a wicked priest as well. Oh my god, another son. Thank you. Holy shit. 62% chance to gain it back anyway, so never mind. Um right, so you are immediately also I guess we're gonna have to go always with faith, aren't we? It's not such a big deal if they are going to taste on our take on our priestly duties there. Um, it was a taste on our priestly duties, and that is that is definitely not okay. 
I just want to know not to father any children, but everyone suspects that it is my child. Well, I acknowledge it. this one priest is followed around by at least a dozen women at all times. It was an accident. I didn't want it. To, it just happened. We did want it, though. Again, I feel like Deceitful would definitely come into play here if we could uh, if we could pick that up. That might help out with this event. Sure, we'll lose the piety. Oh, my God, we've gone into negative piety. And we will legitimize him, of course, pissing off our other sons. Probably not so good for the whole friendship thing there. Maybe I should take family focus. Do, to the vivacious uh, b us... I write for your permission to ask to give my ward, Emmerich, a proper Catholic... Uh, no? I would never have a, a proper Italic, a, Italian Catholic versus what? What are we if not an Italian Catholic? We are. He just wants to educate him. Um, heritage rather, rather than faith. I'm going to say no, absolutely not, and piss off our liege, which is, this is just going fantastic. We pissed off the sun, pissed off our liege. Well, there's our first plan down the toilet. Um, we could compose a book. Oh my god, we could buy a horse. There's so much. This is so weird. I don't even know where to start. Uh, let's compose a book then for the time being. Something in honor of God or maybe my family history. It's already quite large. Um, intricacies of relationships, diplomacy or intrigue. I think that would help us more in the future. In, in terms of the corruption game, that definitely seems a stronger candidate. Uh, we can. For the time being, I think we'll leave it there. We can buy a horse, but I think that's probably not necessary. We're not going to be leading any trips into battle or anything like that. Alberto Azzo. We played as Alberto Azzo. What was he the starting character of? There was a series. Was he not the starting character in the Extremely Deus Vault series, the Gods on Earth series? I genuinely, genuinely think he was. Because he had he, he had uh, Milan. We expended into Genoa. And then as the other gods came for us, we obviously fled to... If you've not seen that one, all the gods were on Earth. That was the whole kind of point of the series. And we had to flee to Mallorca before all the gods wiped us out because they were all of the various pagan faiths. That's so weird. That's so weird that we've we've seen him again. I don't know why I've got apparently a, a sort of propensity for this area. All right, moving on very swiftly. Let's find ourselves a new uh, a new lady to try and uh, get some more good sons out of. I'm sorry, but I'm not going for ugly characters when we there are definitely other characters we can invite to court here. Um, no child. Maybe she's got like an invisible fertility nerf or something like that to stop you specifically having children with the witches. Let's see, do Sarah instead. We've still got some on the list. Honestly, why not? Why not send him a priceless work of art? We're account level characters who can't build up tech points. So when we built all the buildings in our domain, that's it. That's what we're limited by. Um, and to be honest, we're kind of close to being limited anyway. Build some church walls. That'll give us access to some of this other stuff. But how much is a standing church military going to be any use here? Uh, a herb garden, a brewery. Yeah, see, all of these require infrastructure, which, again, we can't get right now. Let's build church walls. That seems like a pretty good start. And, again, we have nothing, none of these under us we can hold personally. So, not even any point revoking them or anything like that. Seek an ally amongst friends. And then, immediately, loot suggestion. Shit. Okay. I'm, again, I'm not going to pay too much attention to the seduction today. There's another one. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, very nice. I do want to, like I said, flip to the family focus, bearing in mind... We've already got, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, we've got eight lovers, potentially a ninth on the way. Then we just flip over to family focus. We still get the fertility bonus. They're already our lovers, so attraction is irrelevant. And then it'll also help build up relationships with the kids that we've already got. So we'll wait for this final seduction to finish, which is done. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let our love grow. Then we'll go for family focus instead, and we'll say goodbye seduction for the timing. We might go back to it so that we can try and get master seducer, which, ah, uh, maybe I should have done that first in hindsight. I want to make sure these kids are well-educated, so that definitely takes top priority. Do they actually... They do get larger over time. Look at that. Wow. This is the... Um, what portrait model is this? I can't believe I can't remember the name for it, because we've played it in so many other series as well. Uh, Better-looking guards. Well, that's it. That adds all these really fancy-looking fancy, uh, fancy -looking portraits to it. I can't believe the kids actually grow. That's such crazy attention to detail. These days of revelry are an excellent escape, unlike all those other days of revelry where he... Uh, just specifically got into things. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such short time. It brings me close to my companions. I feel like good friends already because he was escaping. That was the joke there. You're my best friend. We became friends with my good man, whatever the hell that word says, Bartholomew. Bar 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 Bartholomew. Welcome. What's the gr green? Is, uh, green is friend, isn't it? What's wrong with his eyes? There's something, there's something not quite right about that. Carousing, recent carousing, dedicated carouser. 30% chance to lose his dress. Oh, that'd be awesome, because that would also give us the fertility bonus. Nothing. But, I mean, that guy, a bit of dedicated Krauser, hell, I'm on to get to all of his parties then. Fine, let's see if we can remove that one just to help out with some more kids. That might be a bad idea. Gang Gregarious, guaranteed. That's always fantastic. And another son. Okay. Wicked Priest. Fine. We might as well... I, I kind of just want to take Wicked Priest at this stage, because to be honest with you, it will... Uh, it will just rip off a band-aid. We're going to get it eventually anyway, aren't we? Let's be reasonable here. Right, let's get that other son trained by basically anybody capable. She's quick and diligent, so she'll do. Boom, thank you very much. 
Silas Lava as well, holy shit. Mighty, mighty priest Sir Hittel with his minus 10 pi- No. Minus 10 piety and his, uh, and his many, many harem of, of women. That's so strange. Uh, Alrico of Cremona is challenging to a fight for glory. The only respectable response would be to accept the challenge. Now to give me with my agents because of our high entry skill, we use any means necessary to win it, which absolutely I'm going to do because he's more skilled. Why are you feudal if you're... Oh, because he's... They actually just gave him a castle on him, but he is a priest. That's very strange. Yeah, it actually is a castle. Okay, very weird. Um, now to give me my agents, I just want Deceitful, to be honest, because I feel like Deceitful might help us avoid some of this uh, potential wicked priest trait that we're taking on here. Absolutely. Nice. There we go. He's moving sluggishly. Perhaps it's due to the special breakfast. I had my agents... Again, we are a good priest. We've just poisoned our enemy to defeat him in a duel. He's dead. We just murdered a man. Are you alright? I'm... I'm I'm not doing a very priestly job, am I? There's your future Pope right there. Oh, no. Just to make things fucking worse. How can I not? How can I not take him up on this right now? It's well within the character. We are going to try and roleplay the character a little bit. He's a deceitful, lustful, envious, cynical man. Bear in mind, he spawned in with cynical, envious. Lustful was random and deceitful we just took to win a duel so that we didn't die where he straight up murdered a man. If we did not ask questions, why did God make us curious? And he is a curious man through and through with his cynicism. Absolutely. Walking the Palisades of my temple, I am joined by- The Palisades of my temple. I am joined by Kuno. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Keep it hidden. Thank you, Kuno. Much appreciated, my man. What if I told you that everything you told to believe in is a lie? And he would absolutely believe that because he is a cynical man. You are truly a witch, then can you cure my- One of our lovers is sick. Oh no, Mercende is possessed. What a shocker. I love the possessed eyes on that. There we go. Get you a woman who looks at you like that. You're truly a witch then. Can you cure her? Although he might not want to because I imagine she a freak. To the honorable, uh, whatever, Sir Hittel, peace be with you. Please support me by voting with me on the council. Of course, he will owe us a favor. I wonder if we can call him a favor to nominate. Oh, that would have been a cool system, wouldn't it? That's a shame that we can't force that through with a, uh, with a favor there. If there's any chance it will cure my love, right? Well, and it says, as a lustful, gregarious man, I feel like he'd be into that. It has been some time since Kuno was in contact with me. I've not I've been mulling over his words. God told Adam he would die if he ate the forbidden fruit. God lied. The church lies. The priest <laughs> the priests do definitely lie. You can't argue with that one with his seven lovers. Um but seven. We've lost one. Wait, we've lost one? Who the fuck did we lose? Oh, that's a shame. Uh the lies are meant to hold us back. Or would he be what, is he a greedy man? Has he done anything particularly greedy behind besides hoarding lovers? But that's lust. That's not greed. And it could also be considered envy rather than greed. Uh, he hasn't done anything particularly greedy at all. So no, the lies are meant to hold us back. I don't, I don't think he would just give in to depravity kind of all crazy like that overnight. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bed. Uh, it's just occurred to me when the child, when the, when the demon spawn turns of age, we're going to have fucked his nanny. Is he all right with that? We're his step-grandfather. That's a, a stupidest thing I've ever said. Fine. Uh, bargain must be struck. Thank you very much. We've now carved a pentagram on our arm. We're off to a fantastic start in, in, the, in the Catholic Church run. When I wake up next to the cloak figures, they are gone. And Thea Charista, Th Thea, whatever, is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own. Uh, it's a hit all, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I look back on this moment. I wish you had found me sooner. Oh, that's nice. Budding friendship. And there we go. We, we haven't taken off our priestly hat, unfortunately. I suppose that would probably give us away if we were, oh, let's flip the religion tab. Look at that. Very nice. I, I mean, the religion button is gonna kind of spooky dark red there. Uh, someone's born to us and Stanislava, named Sambor. Is he any good? They're all just coming out generic characters. I was kind of hoping we'd get some random traits thrown in here, but uh, unfortunately, they are just crap. Wicked Priest? Yeah, that's not much of a surprise, is it, all things considered? Uh, definitely don't check his arm. No pentagrams there, sir. Assigned Guardian. Let's just chuck him to anybody at this stage. Who have we got? Uh, Diligent. Diligent's great. Diligent's fine. I could go and find other characters, but I very much doubt anyone wants to join our core right now, given the general opinion losses and whatever else. Legitimize him. Oh, God, I bet you hate me. Minus 38. Minus 80 from Legitimize Bastard. Damn it. Oh, no, don't shout, God. Is Oh, my God. I expressed my views on the whole religion and God thing a bit too loud and got into a lot of trouble with a priest because of it. It was himself. God is dead. Uh, we could all the Hedge Knight released for temp piety. It might have been a bad idea, but again, he's cynical. He's a bandit. I'm sorry. I've lost. I've, I've lost full control over this. Canon, a member of the cathedral chapter. Oh, wow. Formed to advise the bishop. And in case of vacancy... Oh, so... Oh, I was going to say designate origin, but we've actually got one of those. The canons are minor electors in the elective... Inst oh, nice. So we could elect the child's 
mother, perhaps, although the Catholic Church generally aren't particularly fans of that, are they? Um, <laughs> neither the child nor the mother, uh, nor electing her. What? Uh, who would be the best one to go for? Maybe another child. That would be kind of interesting. Get get a whole dynasty. Get, get the other members of the dynasty also trying to spread the corruption a little bit here. The only reason I was checking that is because uh, apparently we are lacking a court position. I think I will hire one. Let's see if we can just find anyone in the map to start off with. Uh, join court any is fine. Let's go ruler. No. Diplo range preferably. Married. No. Uh, in prison. Also no. Let's go men. Who we got then? Uh, sort by learning preferably. I can't invite any of these people to our court. You'll do. Court chaplain, 20 learning. He is ill. Probably doesn't make the best physician then, but fuck it. Why not? We can, Of course we can abduct people. Of course, I was going to say, why the hell can we abduct people? That doesn't seem very Catholic. Then again, neither does our guy. There we go. Court physician. Very nice. You should probably tend to yourself first. So we can obviously steal artifacts. And the Pope is in a separate realm. Uh, he's technically a uh, hashtag not my Pope. So we can steal the chair of St. Peter. Holy shit. Do we we have to be the Pope, I assume? Yeah, is Papa of the Papal See. Fair enough. Uh, is a priest. Piety is equal to a thousand. That's awesome. Can we steal the bones of St. Peter? Do we just have to be Christian for that? Why not? Honestly, I feel like our first go can start hyper-corrupt, you know, worshipping the devil, cynical man who's just using the church to his own ends. Maybe after that. Maybe after that, in the future, they become less cynical and start moving more towards the church. Maybe they don't you know, catch on to what he's doing here and take the take the, the Bible very uh, literally, take their take their church education very literally, much against uh, poor Sir Hittle here. Who do you want to take with us to go and rob the fucking Pope? <laughs> Niccolo, our spy master, we can take David of Castle that means big castle, I would assume. Uh, the, we can take the possessed man, the the, the spooky uh, mute man who wears the hood, that's very strange. Or uh, my friend? We could take this guy with us. He's actually quite skilled. Or we could take our lover. Um, priest and his lover rob the Pope's bones. I'm absolutely in. This is fantastic. Let's do it. We've arrived at the Vatican City as expected. It's heavily guarded. There's a group of guards at the main door and a servant's entrance at the back, a window near the stables. 64% chance of convincing some servants. We're supposed to be here. I mean... I mean, that's probably not too far from truth. He's also gregarious. Force my way inside or sneaking through the window. My God, we've got the highest chance of sneaking in through the window. Yeah, don't mind me. Just uh, just a priest. You can look me up. He's a legit priest after all. 69% chance of success. Thank God he brought his lover along. Oh my God, we've done it. You managed to evade most patrols until you come outside the treasury. Two board guards stand between you and your prize. Rush them before they raise the alarm. We're going to beat the shit out of the Swiss guard to steal St. Peter's bones from the Pope. Pose as a servant to give them poison drinks. We can kill them or one of us will seduce them. It's going to be him. He was also a master seducer after all. Hello, boys. My God, it actually worked. Holy shit. Now that you've dealt with the guards, you're free to search the treasury for your target. Time is short and the treasury is filled with documents, jewels, and miscellaneous items. Search frantically, making a lot of noise. 55, 45 to success and failure, respectively. Split up to cover more ground. Search carefully for the item or time to get unconventional. It's, I mean, it's 50-50. It's Everything's 50-50. This one almost is 50-50. Come on. Bones of St. Peter, episode two. Here we go. Right on cue. Sir Hittel Dirt. Do it. He's, fu he's actually fucking done it. We just stole the bones of St. Peter from the Pope after seducing some guards. Unbelievable. That went better than I thought. And that absolutely did go. What a fucking treasure to start this game off with, huh? I can't believe how far we fall. I'm so sorry that this was supposed to be the Hey, Let's Become a Pope series. And I've just ruined him. I've just absolutely... It was within his character. He shouldn't be a cynical, ambitious man. If you don't want me to steal, it says the old expression goes, if you don't want to steal St. Peter's bones, don't be ambitious. And now they're burning down my castle. Who the hell are you? Padua? Is that actually my... It actually is. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you doing? Uh, We're at war with... Holy Roman for Sicily. Okay, that sounds pretty promising. Um, Is this the Brandenburg... It's not against me, is it? Because we've got... Oh, it's against bloody... Herzogi Ugo of Milan. I'm not even going to try and pronounce things right anymore. Um, we could offer to join him, but that would... I mean, that probably wouldn't help. Oh, shit. Is this really, it's really the right time? We're going to summon St. Peter using his bones. Fine. Unlimited power. No. <laughs> I can't do it. Fuck. I can't do it. Distracted by the spurting blood at first, I didn't notice the man standing in the circle like he was there all along. Looking straight at me with a smirk, he says, Bravely done, child. You have no understanding of the forces you're meddling with, but I did find your sacrifice pleasing. Quid pro quo. Name your desire, boy. Great lord, I seek power. We gain blessings of Vetus, giving us plus three intrigue. 
Or, because we stole the Pope's bones and he found out about it, he is now our rival. We can summon a demon to kill the Pope after we stole St. Peter's bones. Done. This is off to a fucking phenomenal start. Pope Alexander has died. Now the conclave, consisting of the members of the College of Cardinals, will come together in Rome to elect a new Pope. Let the Holy Spirit guide them. And let them know not to fuck with Sahitil Dirt. Honestly, why not? This is just the cherry on the cake at this stage, the cherry on the cream pie at this stage. My sister and aunt Layla was passing and decided to pay me a surprise visit. She wants to host an impromptu orgy in honor of the devil. I'll wear my horned helmet, and so will she. She'll wear his horned helmet. That was the joke. Having, oh, fuck, we're frail. Having indulged in at least four different kinds of exotic drugs, having the last three days, uh, in the last three days of a fiery haze in my mind, there was a woman with a forked tongue, a one-eyed dwarf, and many other wonderful freaks. Some of them might even have been real. Mmm, the tricks Layla and I taught each other. I feel drained. Uh, there's this man. I guess he was just there. And we gain 100 dark power. But now we are frail. We've just fucked him frail. God damn. I mean, that was probably also something to do with this, let's be honest. The witch is still alive. Whoa, she doesn't die anymore? She just joins the society? What, she dies when the kid hits a certain age. I think it's when they turn 12. Maybe she will die. Maybe she's just automatically part of the society because she's a witch. That would make a lot of sense. Vatican outrage. Oh my god, have we been caught? Letters have been sent out to the whole Catholic world from the Vatican. The Pope has demanded a stop to the beatification of sinful people and revoke the rights of the rest of the clergy to do so. Ah, okay. From now on, granted, the beatification shall only be given out by the Pope personally. The Vatican will no longer stand for any shameful examples like the wrongful beatification of Fr Frius in its name. Now only the truly pious of Christ will be granted the reverence of face. Uh, who was this guy? Blessed Fr Fr Frius? Fr 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 Frigius? I have no idea. Um, he was a, a syphilitic, charitable, lustful, temperate, arbitrary. He was a hedonist and they beatified him? My God. Okay, final answer. So it's brought a disturbing lack of faith in the authority of the church. Fantastic. Not that we care because we're technically under a different damn church right now. Attempts to find out whether Papa Honorius II lusts for the power of the occult. If so, you may offer him the embrace of the true Lord. I really, really want to get... He's bloody deceitful, paranoid, and gluttonous. If we can get the anti-pope into Lucifer's own... That just really, really just tops off everything else we've done today. No fucking way. Meeting with Papa Honorius II, I made sure to cautiously question the absolute power of his almighty God. Thankfully, it seems that maybe it's because we're a priest as well that he, like, trusts us a bit more. By God, you're right, Sir Hittel. I've never once considered having an orgy with seven people at once. A sensible man, Honorius. Fuck. I've arranged to run him. Ah, oh, no. His face darkens when I attempt to discuss my worldviews. Then I offer him my favorite protection spell, a chicken leg and a leather pouch. I thought it was harmless enough, but he refuses to accept the gift. It's been a wasted effort. I was hoping we would be able to get the antipope, because that would really just... This character would be unstoppable in terms of, like, corruption. Never again would we get another character who's fucked up so badly so early. <gasps> the man... Oh, my God, had dysentery. He gave you a draft that tasted most peculiar. It made you feel numb. Your eyelids started drooping. I apologize, my lord, but you don't want to be there. Wait for this. Panic hit you when you tried to get up the operating table, but your limbs would not obey. He has slashed off our dicker and also balls. We will be cured of our disease. Where is he? Where is he? I, I guess it was an experimental treatment and it worked, so I don't think we can really chuck him in prison, though, can we? Uh, You've taken away my, my, my dynasty. You've taken away my legacy. <sighs> Fuck. No, it's tyrannical. Come on. That was an agent sent by the Pope. I'm, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. That was an agent sent by the Pope. Unbelievable. I've also been able, by the way, uh, Cardinals, when they get given a seat on the College Cardinals, should pop up up here. We could make it a full-blind pop-up, but I feel like that might be a little bit too intrusive. It would be good to know if our children or any members of our dynasty get put on the College, though. Uh, sure. Let's do it for us. So, regarding you or close or unlanded family members, and then character set special interest. That we should be able to track it a little bit easier without being constantly interrupted by random man with a mustache being put in the College of Cardinals. The antipopacy has ended. Oh shit, are we back under... Oh, we're back under Rome. Very nice. Uh, or obviously horrible, perhaps. What can we do then? Hello, Rome. They're into charity and they are currently thriving. Papal actions. We can't do that because we're not the Pope. We can show the officers again. So buy influence. We can buy supporters. We can spend 200 gold to get 125 church influence. So that's just uh, sort of, I guess, the equivalent of giving a gift to China. Earn influence through making a donation, which is... Well, we get gain piety from that one as well, right? So he's making a donation, whereas that one is buying supporters. Fair enough. Um, we can write an article. We can hand in a paper. 
Uh, do we have to write the article first, then hand it in afterwards? Okay, fair enough. We can vote pro or contrary to whatever topics being uh, voted on, but we are not high enough rank to propose a topic or influence the election. I guess you have to be a cardinal to obviously do that one. All right, fair enough then. Let's go and write an article for the Pope. Why the hell not? I decided to write a religious article about theological questions, then finish my work, will surely impress others. How about this fun little article about Satan himself? About the last Pope. What about the last Pope? Uh, maybe I, I feel like it might have been a whole con conspiracy. Do you think he was murdered? Can we also donate some dollar as well? I mean, it's 100 gold, and we gain the 50 piety from it, which would drag us out of negative piety. And 100 gold really isn't that much. And I feel like we've got to spend our wealth on something, because those church walls are... I mean, that's kind of it, really. Um, make a donation. Can't buy... Oh, oh, right. I was going to say we can't buy supporters because maybe it's on the same cooldown as that. But no, it's just because we just don't have enough cash right now. So any sort of tax buildings would help out quite a lot in regards to shipping it straight to Rome. Uh, let's build a herb garden then. Sell off, sell off some of that herb so we can pay off the Pope. Make me a cardinal. How do I do it? Uh, how, do I, how do I gain... Uh, preferata. So he's less likely to be... How uh, Can I... Cardinal, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, so I can vote for... I'll be honest, I don't know how the college of Cardinal... So they're all voting for him to be preferatus. How do we get put on the... Do, do we have to... Maybe that's the campaign. I was kind of hoping we would see like a... Like a score? Maybe there is a score somewhere. That's not it, is it? Church influence with the Scoto dynasty. Um, what, what do we do? Influence succession? Cell influence? Influence succession. Um, I convinced the electors of my bishopric to vote for my candidate. Okay. Um, ask for a seat in the college. Ah. So we need 3,600 influence. Let me just ask him. And there's a chance he can give us that. Okay, fair enough. We could also ask for a learned man from the Vatican. Uh, may not be a valid candidate for the succession. Okay, fair enough. And then we can also suggest a palatinus. Whatever the hell that is. Um, what is it? What is it? Position of papal pal palatinus. I don't know what that is. Uh, probably just a higher rank of some description. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. So the mechanics are kind of... I'm, I'm kind of understanding the uh, the systems that we need to uh, need to worm our way into to make this work. This seems very important. And to be honest, the, we've lost it again. Have you set up another fucking... All right, never mind. Never mind. Don't want to join the college. We need to, we need to honestly just get land, don't we? Maybe we can fabricate a claim here, declare war, take it, and then somehow get independence from the HRE. Because I, I cannot be bothered to keep going with this crap. He's just going to constantly set up... Oh, all right, whatever. Maybe that's another challenge for us to do, huh? <gasps> You're a fool. You're a fool. Uh, Ugo the Weasel wants to make the uncouth... Do we not also play as Ugo? I, I really do remember these guys. If anyone remembers what series that was, let me know. I'd be genuinely quite sure... Alberto Azzo wasn't Filco Rhino series, like original Mad World from like a year and a bit ago. That'd be insane. Uh, dirty, dirty Hugo, uncouth. So he's got, that's, that's a nice little feature. Um, Spymaster, sure. You have made a horrible mistake, my friend. What can I do to him? <laughs> what, what can I do to you now that I'm on your, we could tainted touch the, oh, go out to the Pope. Great pox. What's wrong with his eyes? He's got like dirty eyes. Recent crowds in bedridden. Oh, that would be the that would be the poxy moron. Uh, I guess his eyes are supposed to be closed because he's bedridden, huh? It looks a little weird, but I can understand why they've done it. So that way they don't have to make a set of eyelids for every single less, like every single ethnicity. So it's just sort of generic dark eyelids there. Okay, make makes some sense. Uh I would love to be high priest of Lucifer's own and Pope and Holy Roman Empire. That actually might be our goal. We've we've already done a satanic series, so I'm gonna avoid it to some extent, but that would be kind of fun. Why am I a fool? What's wrong with this scene? Well, it's quite obvious what's wrong with this fucking scene. I educated them in faith, like a moron, when I should have educated them in the regular things, and then... Uh, has my education mod worked out of interest? Uh... Uh, we can't check, because fucking... Okay, right, let's try again. Hang on, here we go. Right, has this worked? Intrigue education? Uh, it seem, seems to have not have. Okay, that's fine, don't worry about it. It just puts limitations on it, makes the game a bit harder, that's all. Um... What I should have done is obviously picked any other education rather than just a crap one. And then just picked faith education when they turn 12 instead. But instead, I am a giant moron and have just fucked up the next generation. This fine, okay. Maybe maybe that's actually not a bad idea. Give it to give it to the, the you, you want your stable master to educate myself. That's an insult. And you know what we do to I mean that is a massive insult. Your son, a alleged son, should be educated by my stable master fucking show you. Make me your bloody spy master, will you coward?
Oh no, my poor liege seems to have fallen ill with great pox, just as I was about to say his father, but no, that was the Pope that died of great pox, wasn't it? May demons dance on his grave, and I will, of course, oh no, we're cruel now, fuck. You've got to be careful that we don't obviously give ourselves away, that would be, we've been informed that the Holy See, by the way, that's the pun for the title, many people ask me about that, it's, it's, Holy See, as in, like, the Papal See, because it was called, like, Sea of Corruption or whatever I've called this garbage series, will no longer serve as Papal Pal Pal Palatinus. The administration now looks for suitable candidates. So I guess it is just a higher rank, and he is now dead as dicks. Name me. Name me. I guess we can't, because we're part of a separate place. Ran under a damn antipope. Great. Well, we've written our theological article, which is now going to sit in our treasury doing absolutely nothing. Um, what does that do? Temple Vassal putting plus two. Oh, so we can actually keep one for ourselves. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, disappointing, really. Okay, never mind. We are, however, conjurer. Uh, oh, we're promoted to priest in Lucifer's Zone. That's funny. We're also a priest in uh, in the Catholic Church as well. Very nice. Could we be elected anti-pope? Is that a possibility at all? Like, if we became a, a, a duke within... What's our... What's our it's the Duchy of Milan. If we become a... That would be weird. And then we could just declare war for the papacy, avoid the whole election system. That seems like the most corrupt way to do it, huh? That seems like absolutely the most corrupt way. But the issue is then we are... I wonder if we could make, also get ourselves elected. What if we take an elector title in the HRE and then be, be named Antipope? I assume the Antipope can't be elected Holy Roman Empire, can he? Oh, Holy Roman Emperor, sorry. But it seems really possible to do with all the influence we could do in the Imperial Court, with all the influence we would have with the church as well. That would be a really cool play. Nondescript common clothes, Sinahelm, Kina, Kinahelm? Oh, he's okay, it's holding. Kinahelm and I are slowly making our way into town in amicable silence. As we pass by ne near the Cap Garden in front of the cozy looking house, I'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. This family is clearly favored by the Blessing Virgin. Keep going. They get to live for now. Or Kinahelm, it's time to do the devil's work. You picked the wrong neighborhood, my friends. Oh, God. The father of the family died last. Ah, but the marvels he got to see first. Kind of helped him carve the wife's face off, prancing around, wearing his mask, taunting and kissing the man while I boiled baby fat to make a flying potion. Finally, we construct a nidal of the litter from the dismembered bodies. Burn it all. We get the blessings of Bilal for doing that, don't we? Dashful text modifier plus 20%. I don't want to do that. Uh, burn it all, no one wants to know. I think that's better. We become close friends with our man, Kind of Helm. We gain 100 dark power. We gain impaler and lose stressed. Oh, nice. Okay. I love the church has done some impaling in its time. That's not particularly bad. And this is where I should have gone for the learning education. Actually, to be fair, he's timid idolizer. So he might come out a mastermind theologian. That's quite nice. That's an accidentally good outcome from this. Uh, this kid might also come out okay brooding. So, he, I mean, he's got an average chance of a level 2, level 3. Uh, it's level 2 mostly out of that one. So that's not too bad either. Uh, who the fuck are you, Wolfgang? I don't know who you are. Get out of here. That's nice. We actually might genuinely end up with a good son we can name as our co-ruler. And then get him elected next, like our firstborn son as well. It's, it's no different than just playing feudal. He deserves greatness. Go and get it. Make him ambitious. Make him our rival, which I'm sure we can patch over. Cynical or patient? Come on, patient. Oh, okay, cynical. Not a big deal. He's just basically us, but better. So he's got... Oh, no, wait. We've also got ambitious, haven't we? He's just us. He's just a tiny little evil clone of us because he's also cynical. Absolutely incredible. Oh no, uh, I feel a lot stronger than healthier since I took on a new diet. I'm almost ashamed of the pathetic sh shaking creep I was not too long ago. Time to throw out my old clothes. We are now absolute unit. Extremely overweight. My god, his fucking chin dropped then. My god, okay. Uh, thanks Jabba, very cool. Lose a trait fever. All you have to do is eat it off. If you're ever ill, just, just, just eat. Just eat until you gain that many chins. It's a perfect, perfect solution. Thank you. Pick an ambition. A quiet title. Can be sorted amongst men. Forge blood armor, the first guy. I'm not so sure about that one. Uh, quite a title, though. That one is just a good one to pick. It also, I mean, we haven't got to worry about another ambition sort of cropping up between now and then. That's fine. Oh, not again. Oh, look at that weird man. We've seen so many weird men today. Unlimited power. We gain the blessings of Mammon. Giving us another, plus, was that plus three marshal? A plus three stewardship. 27 intrigue. Shrewd impaler, patient, ambitious, cynical, envious, lustful, deceitful, cruel priest. This is all base game. We've accidentally built an insanely good entry character, despite that we are just a scholarly theologian. What the fuck? I mean, it's cool. But it's a little bit weird. So we're going to keep going until our son comes of age so that we can sort of decide what we want to do with him here so I can make sure I've, I've got good control of the mechanics. So stubborn. Might not be too bad. We're going to see if we can name him Co-Ruler. We're going to see if we can set him up as our successor. There he is. He actually is just like a mini clone of us. Cardinalis Valde Frigus Diert. 
has come out a mastermind theologian. Very nice. He's an upgrade from us then in some ways. Erudite, cynical, ambitious. He's got stubborn, which of course we don't, but he's also humble. I would like to award you the calm. <laughs> demonic. We could demonically possess him. I'm not going to do that. We could order him to take the vows. Would that work? Join my monastic society. Now, that's not what we want to do. We just want to do it the, uh, want to do it via this method. Um, why can't we name anyone? Has to be appointed by a higher authority. Right, right. So now we speak to our liege, don't we? We say, ask to nominate. And then we pick him. And we send it. I wonder if his opinion will affect that. Let's send him a gift then. Boom. It's 116 gold. Fucking hell. Um, do you want to also want a shitty book on religion? 15 opinion. Take it. Take it. It's, it's basically worthless to us. That's yours, my friend. This is for the future of the dynasty. So I'm up for it. Nominate him. Bishop, co adjutor, go. I've asked Herzogi Ugo to nominate Cardinalis Valde Frigistia as my successor, and therefore future prin Princeps a Escipic Episcopus of Bellinzona. Having Cardinalis Valde Frigis as a successor will ensure that the Dirt Dynasty stays in power, even though it's uncommon among theocracies. Will he accept such a demand? I hope so. Me too. I've right. Oh my god. He wrote to me that he sees my point and agrees that he is qualified, but he's also expanded his administration and is overburdened with other more urgent tasks. Pay the expenses. Uh, 40 gold. Oh my god. A message arrived from me. He wrote to me that he sees the point and agrees that he is indeed very qualified. It will therefore be made Bishop Co Adjutor. Great news. Done. Bishop. I thought, honestly, for a second, I thought I said Cardinalis. I thought he'd been made into a cardinal. There he is. Bishop Co Adjutor Cardinalis Valde Frigis of. Uh, wherever we are, of House Dia. First successful generation. That's the challenge between each character that we're going to have to try and live up to. We have to make sure our liege likes us, make sure we've got a good successor out of the pool of, of potential successors. All these other sons, we, we can keep them in our court, marry them off, uh, and obviously marry off the daughter matrilineally as well. Oh my god, that's one of our daughters. What did I do wrong there? Marry them off matrilineally and just breed family members. And then, just by law of averages, we're hopefully always going to have a good successor here. So how do we nominate an heir? I guess we pick pick you. And now, we've only gone and fucking done it. Successful episode all round. We stole the bones of St. Peter with our lover. We are many children. Wicked priest, fucked a witch, killed the Pope, um, summoned a demon, <laughs> by the way, to kill a Pope. Completely forgot about that aspect of things. And then, through corruption and bureaucracy, we've elected our son, Cardinalis Valde Frigis, our successor, guaranteeing the realm for another generation. That's how we do. Boom. Pretty happy with that one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making the channel and the series possible in the first place. Otherwise, you're going to have to hear me say Ray Shadow Legends. It is either I say this shit or I say sponsored by random games. So it's your choice. Thanks to Alchemia, Anthony Golly, Sione Kurato, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Bellic Stromba, Ben Hoffman, Booty Getter, Chesty, Croesus, Chris, Cyric 313, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogolus, Grimwolf, Gwen S, Harik, Harry McGowan, Huey Longdong, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Walters, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Olympia George, Michael Wallen, Nostrus, Necrophilan, Odie, Pevers Presley, Peyton Denisar, Paul, Rodin, Sarabi, Scott, Scan, Slippy Nips, Somnus, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backers, Faragon, Vlad Radin, and William Green for the support of the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Big shout out to these guys. And a thank you as well goes out to our 15 randomly chosen very lucky patrons of the day, including Spirit085, Mason, Fireblast, Empty Machine, Sir Grasshopper Fucker, Silent Sentinel, Dio, Rongo Star, Void Prince Kibo, Lepus, Castillo J, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Jeeva's Crust, Udric Haddon, Wilson Natef, and to all of the others as well, a big thank you. Thank you to you guys at home for watching. See you all next episode for the continued adventures of our dynasty.